In the ancient times, there lived a king named Sinbad in the Middle East. King Sinbad loved to hunt and travel, but most of all, he loved his pet falcon. He never separated from his falcon for a second, and he always drank water from a small golden bowl that had been tied around the falcon's neck. One day, the king went hunting with his falcon and servants, and the party caught a deer. The king ordered his men to surround the prey, and if anyone were to let the deer run, then they would have to yield to a fate of death. The king had thought his prey a weak and mindless animal, but he was gravely mistaken. The deer ran towards the king and with a mighty leap escaped the king's clutch. It took a few moments for the consequences of the deer's escape to dawn upon the king. He realized that if he couldn't recapture the animal, then he would fall victim to his own orders. The king and his falcon rushed after the deer, and when they came upon the animal, the king ordered his falcon to attack the deer. With its help, the animal fell victim, and soon its head was hung from the king's horse as a sign of victory. However, the hunt had taken its toll on the king's body, and he began to feel parched. Seeking refuge in the shadows of a tree, he saw drops of water dripping down its leaves. As if having found an oasis in the middle of a desert, he quickly grabbed his golden bowl from the falcon's neck and proceeded to drink the drops of water. However, the falcon flapped its wings, causing water to spill from the bowl. The king, believing that perhaps his falcon was thirsty as well, filled the bowl once more and put it next to the bird, only for the previous scenario to repeat. After witnessing the falcon's strange behavior for the third time, the king's bafflement gave rise to anger, and in the blink of an eye, the bird lost its life to the sharp blade of King's sword. At that moment, the king's eyes fell upon the top of the tree, and he saw a big poisonous snake coiled on top as drops of venom dripped from its fangs. Realizing his grave mistake, an immense feeling of regret washed over the king, but it was already too late. Back in the Greek king's court in the previous episode, the minister shook his head as he listened to the king recite this story. He told the king that he feared for his life, just as the deceitful minister had to face his death when he decided to deceive the king's son. He began to tell the Greek king about this story, but that one is reserved for another day.